KPM. Wow, what a good day. Hmm, what's that smell? It smells so nice. Oh, it's a carrot. I can smell the carrot with my nose. And also, I can see the carrot with my eyes. It's so big. I'm so hungry. Can I taste a carrot? Of course I can. I can taste a carrot with my mouth. So carrot, here I come. I'm coming for you, carrot. In three, two, one. Yum 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 yum. Mmm, so delicious. Yum 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 yum. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone who are now watching Preschool at Didate TV KP. And with me, your host Irfan Shahmi. So for today, we are learning something interesting and it's all about animals. Um, just now we had a sketch, uh, a sketch where I, as the rabbit, wanted to eat the carrot. And we are now having a teacher today. So the teacher is Teacher Krishna Vali Krishna from SDKT Sungai Ara Bailapas Pulau Pinang. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good, Irfan. How are you? I'm feeling great today. And we are actually mechi mechi yeah, because <laughs> yes. we are wearing something with purple color. Yes. Okay, so we also have our sign language interpreter, which is Sir. Fekrinizam Adam Idrus from SK Perikan Haselang. How are you, sir? I hope you are feeling great too, as we are today. All right, Teacher Krishna. Mm, we have sent the song, which is Hello Everyone, Hello Song. Yes. So, what are we going to learn today? Okay, Irfan, let me show you mm -hmm. our uh, learning objective for today. Okay, right. at the end of the lesson. Pupils will be able to recognize and name tame animals based on their sound and also name tame animals' body parts. Mm -hmm. Not only that, Irfan, we are going to make a 3D sheep craft. Okay, wow, there are three objectives that we are going to uh, achieve today with the pupils out there. Alright, yes. so for the first segment here, what are we going to do? Okay, let us play a Small game, okay? Small game, okay. okay. I like to play games. What game is that? Okay. You will hear some animal sounds. Uh, okay. And you have to find the animal uh -huh. based on the sound you hear. Okay? Right. The animals are all around here. All around this studio? Yes. I have to find it? Yes. Okay, okay. Let's see if you can recognize the animals based on the sound. All right. Shall we start? Yes, let's go. Okay, listen carefully. The first sound. First sound. Okay. What sound is that? Uh, what sound is that? Is that a cow? 
Yes. Can okay. you find the cow here? Uh, I have to find the cow. Where's the cow? No, where's the cow? Yep, okay. That's the, the cow here, teacher. Okay? Yes, can you take All it? Alright. Yes. What animal is that? This is cow. Yes, it's a cow. So let us put it mm -hmm. here. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you, teacher. Shall we go to the next song? All right, let's go. Okay, the next song is... Let's hear it. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Uh -huh. That's the sound of my third animal, which is... Cat. Yes. Okay. Where is the cat? Mr. Cat, what are you doing here, sticking around? Okay. So this is cat, teacher. Yes, it's a cat. Okay. Thank you. All right. So shall we move to the next one, teacher? Yes. Okay. The next sound for you, Irfan. Music, please. Uh -huh. Hmm. What is that? Sounds familiar. Um. I think that's a goat. Yes. Okay, that's a goat. Hello, Mr. Goat. What are you doing here? Hmm, you seem so nice. Okay, okay that's good. It's a goat. Okay. Very good, Irfan. Do we have something else, teacher? Yes. All right. We have Next few time, more. <laughs> okay, um, I think. That the sound of a duck? Mm hmm. Is that correct, teacher? Yes. Okay. It's a, duck. a duck. So I have to find. Yes, I can see you, Mr. Ducky. What are you doing here? Oh. Yeah, you can see I the found you. Speak huh? of the duck. <laughs> wow, okay. This is a big duck. Okay. okay. Alright, so I'll put here first. Yes. Okay. We have a duck. Okay. Next one. Oops, sorry. Ah, okay. Ah, what sound is that? We always wake up with that <laughs> yes. sound, okay? So that's the sound of a chicken, my favorite food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where is the chicken? Where's the chicken? Chicken, where are you? Chicken? I, what happened to this chicken? Mm -hmm. It's like. Upside down, okay. So here's the chicken, okay. So I will use this easel, okay. Oh, okay. And the last one, the last, last sound. One. The last sound, let's go, let's hear it. Uh, I'm a little bit of confused, teacher. Um, I think, okay, okay, let's get it right. I think this is rabbit, yes, we sell them. Hear the sound of a rabbit, right? Ah, yeah. uh, it's the sound of a rabbit. Go find the rabbit. Go find the rabbit. <laughs> oh, teacher, it's in front of you. Can you help me, teacher? Okay. okay. Yes, you found it. Okay. okay. This is a rabbit. Wow. So, teacher, we have discovered one, two, three, four, five, six sounds of animals. Yes, six animals. These all are tame animals. Mm hmm. Tame animals. So, can you describe a little more on tame animals, okay, teacher? Okay, let me tell you. Tame animals are animals that can uh, live and grow among us, with us. They can stay with us at home or maybe uh, at our backyard. Uh, they can uh, stay among us. They are not wild. They are not fierce. Mm. We can keep them as a pet. Do you have a pet, Irfan? Yes, I do have cats, teacher. Okay. So, Tame animals are also called domestic animals mm -hmm. and farm animals. They are very friendly. We can very call them friendly. friendly. Yes. Okay, Teacher Krishna, thank you so much for this segment. I believe we're learning more after this fun, interesting activities coming after this. So we'll be right back and I'll see you in Today TV KPM. Don't go anywhere. Every day I play with Pluto. I love Pluto very much. That's all about my pet dog. Bye, friend. Didi TV KPM. 
Welcome back everyone to Didit TV KPM. We are in the process of learning and discovering on the tamed animals around us. So, Teacher Krishna, for this segment, what are we going to do next? Okay. Now, uh, uh, if if and before mm -hmm. that, I'm mm -hmm. going to ask you. Okay, we have looked into few uh, tame animals. Six animals. Yes, six animals. Yeah. Okay. Apart from those animals, uh, what are the tame animals that you know? I see. Um, to answer your question, teacher, I have seen um, horse, mm -hmm. goose, and also turkey. Turkey, yeah. yes. Uh, those days they have um, donkeys, mm. and in some countries they have a camel as they are uh, tame animals, like domestic animals. Okay. Now, Irfan, we have uh, looked into the uh, tame animals. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at their body parts. Body parts, okay. Yes, right. okay. First, uh, let's have a look at the body parts of a goat, okay? Um, this is our goat. Okay, first. Okay, this is the head of a goat. Okay, what are, are the uh, uh, what are the parts uh, that you can see uh, on the uh, at the head of the goat? Uh, mm, if I, I can see the ear. Ear. Okay. Eyes. Eyes. Horn, I think. Okay, horn. And also mouth. Mouth and also the nose. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, all the animals, they have a uh, head, they have body, uh, they have legs, they have uh, tails, all the tame animals, okay? Okay, so the head consists of the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the ears, and also the uh, horn, okay? So, head, okay? Head, okay. Next one, okay, what do you call this, Irfan? A horn? Yes, it's a horn, okay. How many horns does the... Um, Goat have? Goat uh, have two horns. Two horns. Yes. Do you know what is the purpose of the horn? horn? Uh, maybe to, uh, to fight? Yes, to protect mm -hmm. themselves. To protect themselves. Okay. Yes, very good, Irfan. Okay, let's look at the next one. Okay, this is the body of a goat, okay? And the next one is the... The tail. Tail, okay. The next one is the tail. Uh, goat's tail is uh, short. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of the animals, they have longer tail. And the next one is the... The leg. leg. Okay, how many uh, legs does a... Um, Goat have? So a goat have one, two, three, four legs. Okay, what other animals uh, that uh, has body parts like a goat? Mm. A cow. Very good, yes. a cow. Okay, let's look at another animal. Okay, parts of a chicken. A chicken. Okay. okay, let's look at the chicken. Okay. A chicken also has tail, mm -hmm. okay? But the tail of a chicken is uh, different from uh, the tail of a goat, okay? The next one is the... The wing. wing. Chicken, chicken wing. Who yeah. doesn't love that? Yes, <laughs> chickens have wings. Okay, and then this is called the comb. Chicken Ooh. has comb. Okay. And also they have big the mouth of the chicken is not called mouth we call it big okay um okay this is the big okay um uh, what other animals that have a uh, big like a chicken okay i know this one a duck yes mm -hmm. a duck and chicken also have food one we say food if two we call it feet feet okay very good let's look at the next one parts okay. of a cat Okay, so cat has tail, longer tail, okay, and then it has fur, mm -hmm. the hair on a cat's body, we call it fur, and cat has a whisker, okay, if many, we call it whiskers, and they have claws, mm -hmm. and also paws, they have paws and claws. What are the animal that uh, looks like a cat? Tame animal. Me, a tame animal? Yes. Okay, tame animal, I'm not sure, but I can say a tiger. Okay, tiger. Okay, tiger is <laughs> okay. well enough. Um, tame animals. 
Do you have the idea? Okay, we have dogs. Dogs oh, I see. have body parts like a cat. Okay. Okay, so now if fine. Yes. We have some activities to do. Okay. Okay. What are the activities? I want to test if you can remember all the mm. body parts that we have learned. Okay. Okay, let's look at the body parts of a cat in front of you. All right. Okay, there I you want go. you to uh, label them. Okay, mm. label the body parts of a cat. Okay, so let's proceed to the body parts of a cat. The first one up here. Uh, okay, I'll be here. Okay, this one is uh, whisker. Okay, whisker. Okay, if okay. fine. I want yep. you to take the word card okay. and put it there. So if you uh, have difficulties in reading mm -hmm. the words, you can look at the first letter of the word. Okay. Uh, sound it and maybe it can help you. Okay. okay. For example, whisker. teacher? Yes, like whisker. So the initial sound is w w whisker. So it starts with W. So mm -hmm. when you see W, okay, it can be the whisker. So it can uh, help you. Even children at home, when you want to read, if you need help, mm -hmm. this is how you can read. Okay, okay read the initials yes, first. Yes, read the okay. initials and w. you can guess the word from there. I okay. see. Okay, so the first one is W, okay, which is whiskers. Okay, so I'll put here first. Okay. Okay. All right, then. Okay, okay. very good. The and the second one? one, we go below that part is, I think that is claw. Okay, very okay. good. It's okay. the claw. Claw, okay. So C L A W, pronounced as claw. Okay, claw. claw. All right, so I'll put the claw to this, okay, board. Okay, All right. how about if you have more than one claw? Um, How do you say it? We say claws. Yes, claws. Mm, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right, the next one is okay. If we have claw, we have the P word as well, which is paw. paw. Yes. Okay. Very good. Alright, I'll repeat again. Paw. Okay. So I'll stick to the board, okay? Which is paw over here. All right, we are and not done yet. And the last one. Yeah, the last one is... Okay, as teacher mentioned earlier, uh, the body parts of a cat is fully covered with F-U-R. Uh -huh. Fur. Okay, F-U-R. Fur. So, we will be sticking this uh, information to this board of a body part okay. of a cat. Okay, Very good, done. Irfan. Let's right. try another one. Okay. Another one? Just now we look at the body parts of a goat. Mm -hmm. Let's try with a cow. Okay. Okay. All right, a cow. How are you, sir? I hope you're feeling good. Okay. <laughs> so, shall we start? Yes, you may. Okay. So, I'll start from here first. So, mm -hmm. the long one here is called... Okay. Let me take the word first. T. Okay. T-A-I-L. Tail. Okay, is that correct, teacher? Yes, okay. the tail. Thank you. And the next part is... This is like the big part of the cow, mm -hmm. which is... I think this, that is body, teacher. Yes, mm -hmm. it's the body of a cow. Okay, body. Body starts okay. with B. B. So it starts okay. with the letter B. B. Okay, B, 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 O, D, Y, body. Okay. I'll put it here first, and the next one would be, hmm, this one is the head of the cow. Yeah. Okay. How how we we uh, pronounce the initial? Uh, we call it head. Head. Uh, okay. Head. head and yes. the sound is her. Her. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So her sound it starts with H. H. Head. Mm -hmm. H e a d. Head. Okay. Put it here first. The next one also same as the goat. Cow also have what well, we call this one. So we call this one as H O R N horn. Yes. Okay. All right. Put here. And the last one. The last is... one would be okay. One, two, three, four. Same as the goat earlier. So we have. 
the L how L L okay L this how you pronounce it L L E G leg okay I'll put here and done okay, okay. very good the last one okay the last one uh, if I uh, let's make it quick mm -hmm. okay. Uh, just now we look at the body parts of a cow. Yes. Now it's a duck here. Okay, what do you call this part? Okay, that part is called wing. Okay, can you show me uh, which one yes. is wing? This yes. one. Yes, okay. wing. Okay, this is uh, the wing. So let us put here. Okay, now what do you call the mouth of a duck? Mm, same as a chicken earlier. Yes. We call it beak. Very good. Mm -hmm. Big. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We call it big. Big. Okay. And the last one. And the last one, last but not least, we have the head of the duck. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. Very good, Irfan. Yep. You remembered all the body parts. You have done a very good job. Thank you so, so much. Very good. Okay, all right, teacher, thank you so much for this segment. And I believe pupils out there already learned how to uh, distinguish the body parts of tame animals that we have discovered earlier on this segment. So we'll take a break first, and I'll see you after this in the Dead TV KPM. Welcome back to DD TV KPM. We are in the process of preschool DD TV. All right, and we are now going to do some arts. Mm, it is art time. So, teacher, what do we have here? Okay, Irfan. Today we are going to make a three D shape from a paper cup. Okay. Okay. Shall we start? Okay. Okay. Let's do the craft. Let's look at the materials needed first. Okay. What do we, we need? need uh, a paper cup. Paper cup. Okay. Here. We need some cotton wools. Cotton wools. Uh, we need uh, four cloth packs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, we need a pair of scissors. Okay. Um, some black color. Um, maybe a double sided uh, tape. A pencil. Um, and some glue. Mm. And a paint brush. Okay, let me tell you how to make the uh, 3D shape. Okay. okay, first uh, get the cloth bag. We need only four. Only four. Okay, okay. take the black color. Mm -hmm. Okay, color it black. Okay, okay. color all black. Color it nice until, and then. Yes, you get uh, something like this. Okay. Okay, put it aside to dry. Mm -hmm. Okay, next take a piece of black paper. Okay. Okay, we are going to draw the face of the sheep. Mm, okay, we can pencil, draw. Yeah. Yes, you just use the pencil. And then you will get something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can draw the eyes. Or you can use wiggly eyes uh, and paste it here. Okay. okay, and then once done, keep it aside. Okay. okay, next, take the paper cup. Okay, put some glue on top of it. And then take the cotton wool and stick on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, cover it fully. Fully? Okay. Yes, and you will get something like this. Oh. Okay, you okay. have to paste even on the top of the paper cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, you'll get something like this. Okay, okay now you find. Fine. Yes. We have the black clothes packs, right? Uh, these yes. are the legs of the sheep. Okay, so, that's why we have four. Yes, that's why we have four because so sheep have four sheep. legs. Yes, the sheep has four legs. Okay, okay. assemble the legs. Okay, okay assemble one, first. two, three, mm -hmm. and four. Okay, okay one, now two, three, we have the uh, 
leg of the sheep. Okay. Okay, take the head of the sheep. Head of the sheep, where are yes. you? Okay. Okay. okay, put some glue or you can put double sided mm -hmm. there. Okay, now remove it. Head removed. Okay. okay. Remove and then the paste your sheep's head. Okay. It will okay, be in the middle like this. Here. Yes. Huh. And our 3D ship is ready. There. Okay, <laughs> teacher. Uh, okay. Can we name the ship? Okay. What name you want to give your ship? Um, okay. Can I have uh, Baba? Ah, nice name. Okay. How Baba about you, teacher? Like the Baba Black Ship. Okay. Mine, I would like to name it Blackie. Blackie? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because it's a black sheep. So okay. It's blackie. <laughs> Teacher, do you uh, want to do a, a sketch maybe? Okay, <gasps> you want to start? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. So I am Baba and you I'm are Blakey. Blakey, okay. okay. Hi, Baba. Hi, Blakey. Nice How, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing today? I'm feeling great. Okay. I see you are going somewhere, Baba. Where are you going? Yep. I'm heading to the other side of the field mm -hmm. because I heard mm -hmm. that they have green field and I really want to eat grass. Mm -hmm. Really? I'd love to eat a green grass too. Can I come with you, Baba? Yes. Yes, you can follow me. We can eat together. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, alright, so that's the story of Baba and Blakey. Yes. Hmm. Okay, teacher, so uh, we have discovered on tame animals, we mm -hmm. have learned the body parts of it, and we mm -hmm. have done the uh, 3D shape as well. Yes. So, uh, to recap, maybe you can give some summary of what we have learned today. Okay, uh, as you said, uh, uh, as you said, uh, Irfan, we have learned about some of the tame uh, animals. Mm -hmm. Which are? Uh, can you see the animals, okay. uh, Irfan? We have cats, yes. ducks, mm -hmm. cow, mm -hmm. goat, mm -hmm. uh, duck, and also chicken. Chicken. We have chicken, and also uh, we have uh, looked into the rabbit. Rabbit yes. as well. Yes. We heard the sounds of the animals mm -hmm. as well, and uh, not many of us have heard the rabbit sound before. Exactly. Uh, not only that, we have learned about the body parts of uh, the tame animals. So. Uh, all animals, they have the head, mm -hmm. uh, they have the body parts, uh, they have legs, okay? Uh, so most uh, tame animals, they have uh, four legs and they have tails. Almost uh, most of the animals, they have legs. And then uh, we made a very uh, nice uh, 3D shape also. So we can use this in our classroom uh, to role play with mm -hmm. our friends. Okay, thank you so much, Teacher Krishna, for today, uh, sharing knowledge with us. And I hope that the peoples out there learn something from us, especially on the tame animals. So, if we have the time, I'll see you after this episode. Alright, so, see ya in the TV KPM. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.